Hello, this is Christian. Welcome to Angular. In this video, let's do the delete operation of the CRUD operation for Angular using the HTTP client in RSJS. Now, this is the scenario here. We're going to, uh, uh, well, we already fetched the data from a remote site from a database and we display that to a form. And then we're going to do two delete operations. One is we can delete a single record or delete all the records at once. And we'll send that off through the um, uh, server. And we'll send that request over here to the um, server based on the API. And then we'll update the database to see if those data are deleted. So let's go and see how this is done. All right, so here is the site. We added the uh, list here already. Last time we added one extra record here. We updated, we able to update this information here as well. Uh, this time we're gonna go and click the delete button here. It wants to click delete, it's gonna delete this record here. We'll also show a message saying the record's been deleted. And also at the very bottom left, we have a delete all button as well to delete everything in the record here. Okay, so let's go and see how that's done. All right, this is the edit. We're done with this one here. We're gonna go to the uh, back to the flight list now because that's where the functions are, right? So this is the template. And the template here, we have two buttons, uh, actually a lot of buttons. Uh, one is for the delete, this is for delete one record at a time. And the loop here, we loop this entire record set. And then we need to create a function here, well, bind to a function to delete one. And then this is the delete all function down here, okay? Button. So here, I'm gonna create a, a click event to bind that to a function call uh, just delete, uh, maybe delete one, right? And we'll pass to this function the ID, which is in this case is this flight dot ID. So we need that ID uh, to to know which one to to remove. Okay, and then down here we have another similar function. This time we'll do a click event that would bind to a delete all function, and this one takes no parameter. Okay, so let's go and create those two functions in the code here. Uh, I'm going to do right below here. So this is the delete one. Ooh, too many. And then I have an ID of type number. And then now this one is going to load the service calling the delete one only. So this dot flight service dot delete singular and then we pass in the ID number again subscribe you have to subscribe if you don't it won't work um, and then even though nothing has been returned you still have to subscribe to it okay I mean if, I don't know if it's returned or not it depends how on the server side but if you want to get the data what's coming back you you can subscribe to that and then you know fetch the data but I do want to update a message up here I want to update the count and also update the submitted to say true, right? So that means I need, I need to put in here. You wanna make sure that that really, it did uh, um, succeed before you um, put the message. Otherwise you just put outside here, it could may not be true. So in here, I have to do this arrow function and then inside here, let me just do this. It does not to be confusing, two things. Um, yeah, I'll update this, uh, submit it to be true. And then I'm going to um, uh, change this count. So count is number type. And so when we load the data here, we already uh, updated the count here. So in this case, once I delete one record, I'm not gonna you know call this again. I just basically call this low function. And this, uh, this already will fetch the data back. And then also update the count, okay? So that's what we need to do here. So this, that, low data. And, and that's it for this one. But um, yeah, but I wanna see what's inside the data here so you can load that to the console and see what the data is. So I put here. So I know it's coming from the server. Okay, it might be the data that was deleted. Usually that's the, that's the case. Okay, so that is the delete one. And then we'll do one more down here for delete all. This is should be very easy. Delete all, takes no parameter. And this one here will be this flight service that delete all. 
or delete flights. And we need to subscribe. Same thing. I need to check the, um, I need to say this submitted is true. And also uh, load this data if there's any. And in this case, we have the zero in the console log. What happened with this data? What is it? I'm curious to know, right? <laughs> okay. All right. Well, um, so again, just make sure you, you subscribe. If you don't, you won't work. Um, before I delete everything, I want to just do that first, show you. And if I turn this off for now, and so just put that uh, message saying, you know, this is true. We we'll just fake that. Assume everything is good. Okay, so that's gone. And then there's an error in our code. What happened? I delete one. Um, it's not defined. Or oh, did I call it differently? Oh, I just said delete. Okay, let's call it delete one. There we go. All right, so let's go and check it out. Refresh our page. <clears throat> okay, I'm going to delete the first one. Okay, as you can see, I got the message saying it's deleted. But really, when it came back, the data is still here, right? It didn't work. Uh, even though it, it, it did invoke the function, I go back, it's still there, right? Delete number four. And so it's not working. And we can check that in the database over here. Refresh it. And you see that everything is still intact. Right, so it did not work because we did not subscribe. Now the delete all will work. Um, we can we can do that. I I think so. If I go down to the bottom, if I do delete all, you see that it's all gone. Okay, all the data, there's no more data. And if I go and uh, add flight and then show flight, it's no more. Okay, and if I can I can verify in the database as well. You see that now it's oh, it's all gone. Okay, so uh, well, we have no more data to, to deal with. I'm going to go and reset my database. And I have a, um, a function here actually to uh, reset it. So here, if I call it, it's, as you can see, empty. And I have a reset here function. Okay, so it's all done. Only thing is that once I reset it, then all these numbers are no longer the same. So as you can see, it's been updated to number 13 instead of the original uh, one, two, three, four, five, because I did not truncate it, I just delete. So if you, when you just delete, you you retain the um, the ID number. Uh, if you truncate, then they will be set to the original uh, starting one again. So again, if I refresh it, so here we go. We have the new flight number uh, ID now. Okay, these are IDs that this is not index. These are actual IDs um, in the database. So we we know that this one works. So for sure, that's why. You have to subscribe, right? So here we go, turn this off and turn this back on again. And we should be good to go with one deletion. Okay, so let's go and then do one more time for our deletion here. Let's reload that module and I'm gonna delete number 14 instead. So there you go, it's been deleted and 14 is gone. Okay, if I go back and just reload it. You see that it really did uh, disappear. If I delete number 20, and there we go. So if I go back to the database and verify that, you see that 14 and 20 are gone. Okay. And it, it, as we do every deletion, it should decrement the number count. I didn't show that here, um, but you can log it, you can see it. Oh, yeah, I wanted to see what's inside the, the data. And when it comes fast, oh, yeah, the data is null. When you delete a record, yeah, nothing came back. Uh, so now if I keep deleting that, all of them, I'm going to get the count back to zero. And then you show a message here that says no data. This is the flag. So now everything's all gone again, and we are good to go. So just make sure again that when you delete, you have to subscribe. Even though in this case, if you don't do any of these flags, you have to um, subscribe it and then reload the data again uh, synchronously okay if you if you don't uh, load it here and if you load it out here uh, I guess that's fine too because it's gonna load it, it synchronously um, but just make sure you do subscribe and that's how you do delete operations so let me know if you have any questions thank you